If your Fortnite performance feels choppy or you're struggling with FPS drops, stutters, or input delay, especially on a low or mid-end PC, then this guide is for you. Today, I'm going to show you the best possible game user settings you can apply to boost FPS, reduce latency, and make your game feel smoother overall. These settings are designed for performance mode, but work great on any system. Let's dive into it. Lost worth it with lag and high ping while you play games. So guys, you need a gear up booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download gear up booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. To get started, press the Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open the run dialog box. Type in percent local app data percent and press enter. This will open a hidden system folder. From here, either press the F key or scroll down to find the folder named Fortnite Game. Open it, then go through the following path, saved, config, Windows client. Inside this folder, you'll see a file called gameusersettings.ini. Right click on it and choose properties. If the read only box is checked, uncheck it for now and click apply, then okay. This step is important because it allows you to make changes to the file without restrictions. Now open the game user settings file using notepad. Start by finding the line that says motion blur and make sure it is set to false. This removes unnecessary visual effects that can lower performance. Scroll further and locate show grass. Set this to false as well. Although it removes grass textures from the game, doing so reduces rendering load and increases FPS on low end systems. Next, fine tune a few performance critical settings. Set B show FPS to true so you can monitor your frame rate during gameplay. Then look for BGPU crash debugging and set it to false. This disables extra crash tracking features that aren't needed unless you're debugging. Also, make sure stop rendering in background is false to ensure the game keeps rendering even when it's not the active window, which is helpful for multitasking without frame hitches. For input latency, adjust the latency tweak one setting to false and latency tweak two to zero. These are related to latency improvements typically tied to Nvidia Reflex. While this feature isn't directly accessible in performance mode, Keeping these values low helps reduce system latency on NVIDIA GPUs. Now find the anti-aliasing setting and set it to off. Anti-aliasing can smooth out visuals but consumes GPU power, so disabling it gives a notable FPS boost. Then, locate temporal super resolution quality and set it to custom by typing it in manually. This allows you to unlock hidden settings. If you're not using DLSS or ray tracing, set DLSS to zero and nanite to false to avoid unnecessary performance hits especially on non-RTX or entry-level GPUs. Power saving settings should also be turned off. Set all energy saving mode values to false, as these can throttle performance to conserve power, which is the opposite of what we want here. For display gamma, leave it at its default value unless you're specifically adjusting visuals. It has no impact on FPS, but incorrect values may mess with your display output. Once all changes are complete, save the file, then right-click on it again and return to properties. This time, check the read-only box and click apply. This ensures Fortnite doesn't automatically reset your custom settings the next time you launch the game. With these optimized game user settings applied, you should notice smoother gameplay, fewer stutters, and a more consistent frame rate, especially useful if you're playing on low or mid-end hardware. All right, guys, now head over to my website and grab the Fortnite performance pack. The download link is waiting for you in the description below. This pack includes carefully selected optimizations designed to lower input lag and improve the overall performance of Fortnite on your system. Once downloaded, open the folder named Registry Optimization. Inside, you'll find multiple registry files that are safe to use and tailored for gaming. Install each file one by one. These tweaks help your system focus more power on Fortnite by changing background behavior and optimizing windows to prioritize game performance. The result? Smoother gameplay, better frame pacing, and less stutter, especially on low and mid-end machines. Once you're done with those, go back to the main folder and open the one labeled Fortnite Priority. This section lets you choose how aggressively your CPU should prioritize Fortnite while you're playing. You'll see three separate registry files here. If you're using a low-end PC, choose the normal priority file to keep your system stable while still giving Fortnite a boost. If you're on a mid-range build, go with medium priority. And if you have a high-end setup, then the high priority file will help your CPU dedicate more attention to Fortnite, squeezing out extra frames during heavy action. Be sure to pick the one that matches your system's specs so you can get the best performance without causing issues. Next, let's move on to a powerful tool called Ultimate Windows Tweaker. If you're using Windows 11, there's a compatible version included for that too. 
Once you launch the tool, you'll see a clean interface. First, go to the Performance section, where we'll make some essential adjustments. Slide all the top performance options toward the left and disable anything unnecessary, just like I show on screen. A few important services you should disable here include tablet input services, Microsoft Edge preloading, and printer spooling services. These background tasks are useless for most gamers and can consume system resources. Here's a bonus tip. Disable the search index feature. Doing this will turn off Windows Search, but in exchange, you'll reduce background disk usage, which helps a lot if you're on a slower hard drive or older SSD. Before you apply any tweaks, I highly recommend creating a restore point using the button at the bottom of the window. This gives you a safety net, so if something goes wrong, you can easily roll back the changes. Now switch over to the Security tab. For this part, you don't need to touch anything, just leave it all as it is. After that, head into the Privacy section. In this area, make sure to check every option listed. These settings help disable telemetry and other data gathering processes that slow down your system in the background. Once all options are selected, click Apply Tweaks to lock in the changes. Finally, navigate to the Additional tab and look for a setting called Network Adapter Onboard Processor. Many modern motherboards have this feature, but it's often disabled by default. When turned off, your CPU has to handle all the network-related processing, which can add unnecessary load and hurt your game's performance. Enabling this setting offloads some of that work to your network hardware, helping Fortnite run smoother, especially in online matches. After applying all tweaks, close the tool, and you're done. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gera Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Next, go to the Windows search bar and type in Game Bar Settings. Click on it and turn off the Game Bar completely. This feature is often running in the background and can eat up valuable resources even if you're not using it. Disabling it helps prevent background recording processes that could interrupt or slow down gameplay. Next, make sure Game Mode is enabled. This is a built-in feature in Windows that automatically optimizes your system for gaming. When turned on, Windows reduces background activity and shifts more power toward the game you're playing, which leads to smoother performance and better system response. Now while you're still in the gaming section, click on Graphics Settings. Inside, scroll down and select Change Default Graphics Settings. Here, enable Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. This setting allows your GPU to handle its workload more efficiently, reducing overall latency and improving frame pacing, especially during intense in-game moments. While still in graphics settings, let's make sure Fortnite is prioritized by your GPU. Click on the Browse button under the Graphics Performance Preference section. Navigate to your Fortnite installation folder, usually located in this PC, your drive, preferably an SSD, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64. From there, select the file named Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping XE. Once added to the list, click on it, choose Options, and set it to High Performance. This step ensures your dedicated graphics card is always used for Fortnite, giving you better frame rates and fewer drops. Now press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. Type msconfig and hit Enter. This will launch the system configuration window. In the window that opens, navigate to the Services tab. At the bottom, you'll see a checkbox labeled Hide All Microsoft Services. Make sure to check this first. Doing so hides critical Windows services that your system needs to function properly so you don't accidentally disable anything important. Now with only third-party services showing, go through the list and disable anything that you recognize as unnecessary. 
These could be update services for third-party apps, game launchers you're not currently using, or background processes from tools that aren't related to gaming. Be careful only to disable services that you're confident won't interfere with your system's stability. Once you've unchecked the ones you don't need, click Apply and then OK. You'll be prompted to restart your PC. Go ahead and restart. That's it for today's guide. Your Fortnite should now feel smoother, faster, and more responsive. If this helped, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your squad. And before you go, make sure to subscribe so you never miss another performance boost.